need to get this thing finished. It's been a while since I've been over here. That thing needs that belt put back on it, but I've got stuff to do to the truck today. I need to uh, get back onto attacking some more of these projects and getting rid of things that need to be gotten rid of that are ready to be getting rid of. Uh, quick, quick little deal about the uh, motor that came off of this thing. Somebody left me a comment about this motor on that video saying that I could go on a website, put in which iteration of this one, this uh, 190 it is, and uh, possibly re replace the crankshaft and the uh, piston and piston rings for a decent deal. We'll have to see what happens on that. I uh, didn't really look into it all that much because there's like 10 different versions of the GCV190. So what I'm doing here is part of that computer replacement that I did and the replacement of this thing is my mechanic told me that these were all chewed up on my intake here. And uh, they're really easy to replace. And I just went and bought these three from the junkyard for just over $4. All my oil change stuff is at the house, namely my pan green pan so I'm just gonna do that at the house and be done with it probably hit these next weekend my rear brake shoes my dad also got from one of his uh, radio deals because he does ham radio stuff he uh, got this in one of the loads that he got and uh, yeah a second battery tender so I would hook I was going to hook it up to that that hasn't been started in about two weeks and I just started it today with no issue other than it wanting to build up you know the the uh, vacuum for the gas from the gas tank for the carburetor uh, that was really it. it took a little bit longer than normal to start because of that but it wasn't because of the battery well back at the house now you have to update you guys on this saw that I bought recently it was 60 bucks at the local hardware store. I had some fuel in it, but it appears that it leaked out. Um, but it's a 16 inch cool on 38cc P3816. It's not the best saw in the world. Uh, there's a lot of negative reviews on it. However, it seems to be either negative because people don't really know how to start the thing properly, let it idle, and then uh, use it as intended. But uh, there should be a video on this thing at some point. Uh, I bought this to basically keep up with some of the small stuff around the house, namely cutting up the palm tree uh, droppings, I guess you could say, the big, big branches that come from palm trees. Cutting those up, fitting them in the trash, dealing with uh, the pine trees, uh, basically same thing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what that's for. Couldn't pass up that deal. Um, at least I think it was a good deal. Seems a uh, decent saw goes for about 60 bucks or so on Craigslist. So, so now it's a few hours later. And this is a surprise, I guess you could say. Now, I only paid $300 for this thing. My buddy just got tired of dealing with it, found a better car, and uh, went with it. So I'll give you guys a quick walk around. I'll do a standalone video on this thing eventually after I clean it out. It's really dirty. Definitely need some work. It's got new rear tires, decent front tires. Yeah, she's a little screwed. This thing doesn't really work when he's got it locked all the way back, just so it'll actually function for the intended purpose. Uh, it's dirty. The guy smokes, so there's cigarette packs everywhere. Uh, it needs a good thorough cleaning. It's only got 101,000 miles on it. It was in his family ever since it was new or something like that, if I remember right. Um, but it's only turned over once, and that was under his ownership. But uh, he's done... The reason, one of the reasons why I bought this thing from him is because, well... I know that he takes care of his stuff. It doesn't really look like it, but mechanically this thing is, as far as any major issues go, he's already sorted them out. Uh, he put a new fuel pump in it, replaced several of the motor mounts, 
um, tune up. He's done a tune up on it. He's done ball joints, shock absorbers, and but it's got some uh, spots that need to be cleaned up. Brand new battery. Um, I guess the tip of the iceberg for him was his heater core started leaking, so he literally just bypassed it before he brought the thing over. He put a new timing belt and water pump on it like, I don't know, six months ago within the past year or something like that. It says new hoses, new catalytic converter. He didn't smog it for me and I didn't ask him to, but uh, I'm sure it'll be okay. He said he thought that the starter was starting to go out and I know his battery light comes on and off like that. The thing runs pretty damn good. It's just dirty as dirty as all hell. It's got this part up here, this clock, but you can't even adjust it apparently. Apparently the buttons don't work and these are for the lights, which he's got no bulbs in. But uh, this sensor, it actually doesn't work. Um, He's gonna take his stereo out and swap it in with another one from the car he just bought, which I will have a video on that because it's a 2000 uh, Crown Vic police interceptor. But there's two ideas that I had with this thing. Either one, basically just drive it. <laughs> drive it until it blows up. It's a hatchback. As you guys can see, the rear seats fold down all the way flat. So this would make a good little garbage hauler that doesn't get 14 to the gallon like that does. Or B, 24 hours of lemons. Me and a buddy of mine were talking about that. And uh, this would be like a perfect car to do that in. If you guys don't know what that is, I put a link uh, down below so you guys can look it up. But it's basically this, you, you buy a shitbox car and you race it. And you have to spend a certain amount of, have to not spend over a certain amount of money in order to uh, go through with it. Basically you have to, uh, put a roll cage in it um, Obviously, I'd be doing some weight strippage But uh, that was an idea that we had to do So we'll see what happens you never know